kernel migrator for Exchange Software's an advanced migration tool, which provides exact and secure migration between sources and destinations. Users can perform the given migrations with kernel migrator for Exchange between any two Exchange versions, from Office 365 to any Exchange version between Office 365 tenants, and from any Exchange version to Office 365. The focus of this video is on the migration from Exchange to Office 365 with kernel migrator for Exchange. We are going to learn how to perform the easiest and efficient migration from Exchange to Office 365. A pre-migration analysis feature is available on the user interface of the software, through which you can have an estimate of the time required for your Exchange 2010 to Office 365 migration. Let's start the migration with Kernel Migrator for Exchange. Launch the Kernel Migrator for Exchange software application. On the home page, click Add Project to create a project for your migration. Enter any project name and click OK. Now select your project and click Add Job for Mailbox to migrate mailboxes from Exchange 2010 to Office 365. Then, enter a job name and click Next. You can also migrate Exchange Public Folders to Office 365 with Add Job for Public Folders option. However, we are proceeding with the migration of mailboxes. In the Add Job for Mailbox dialog box, provide the Source Exchange Server 2010 login details, like domain name, or IP address, username, and password. You can also validate the entered credentials with this option. After validation, Exchange Server name is automatically added. You can use an existing profile as well. And, if you have previously performed the migration, you can restore the list from that session. After confirming all details, click Next. In the next dialog box, select the desired mailboxes from the list, or you can directly import them using the Import from CSV option. You can also refresh the list from here. After selection of mailboxes, click Next. In the next dialog box, enter the target domain details. Choose Office 365 from the drop-down, and enter the details like username and password. You can use the existing profile as well. It offers an option to delegate full access rights to the user. Select as per your need, and after confirming all details, click Next. It will start enumerating the Office 365 users. A dialog box asking for using target mailbox list of previous session of mailboxes. Click Yes if you want to use, otherwise click No. Now, apply filters. Within message classes, you can add a message type and class using the Add button. Using date range filter, you can include or exclude items within specific date range. Likewise, you can include or exclude any folders in migration. After applying all the filters, click Next. Here you can map source and target mailboxes. You can use either map automatically or map using CSV option. To map mailboxes, select the mailbox you want to map, and click this option. Now select the mailbox to be added from the list and click OK. Similarly, perform mapping for all other mailboxes. Select this checkbox if required, and click Next. Here, you can select options for bad items and synchronization, as you require. Click Next. Then, configure the notifications and provide any mail address to receive them. After that, click Next. You can schedule the migration process here. Select the cells and click Allow Migration, or select the cells and click Deny Migration providing the required date and time range, and click Next. Specify the time to execute the job, and apply the report console settings. You can delegate rights to an existing user, or create a new user. Select Job Rights and click Next. In the next page, verify the details and click Finish. Migration will take some time and after that successful migration information is displayed. Hence, migration from Exchange Server 2010 to Office 365 is successfully performed in a systematic and efficient manner. Visit the website and download free version of software. Thanks for your time. Enjoy your day.